Hi. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aries. Hi, Aries. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep my camera above here because I'm not going to lie. I don't have a bra on. <laughs> it's like, let's see, what time is it? 2.09 a.m. here and I just, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to wear a bra. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure all of my male subscribers would be like super excited. Um, but no, I'm not about that life. So I'm going to try to keep my camera above here. And hopefully you guys don't see a nip or anything. Alright, so we're going to start out with the regular tarot, which is what we usually start out with. I have my new dragon tarot deck. This is going to be a general love reading for the spirit series. Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Higher Self. What does our Aries need to know about their love life right now for their highest good things? Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Higher Self. What does our Aries need to know about their love life right now for their highest good? What does our Aries need to know right now about their love life for their highest good? I am the clearest channel for source messages. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What are our areas need to know right now? About their love life for their highest good, please. I have not had the chance to use this dragon tarot yet, so I'm super excited about being able to use it. Whoa. All right, nine of pentacles. Whoa. So we got some. Somebody's putting in the work. Looks like your financial situation is going to be affecting your love life in a good way. Because the next card we have is a hero fan. Can we get two more cards, please? Whew. So you've been putting in that work in this relationship. Some of you have been putting in a lot of hard work in this relationship. And and, and I'm not take I'm not talking financial wise. I mean, yes, Pentacles represents financial gain right if it was a normal reading but in a love reading it generally means putting work somehow and nine of pentacles is a lot of work it's also happiness it's wishes coming true see we got pentacles again we got five of pentacles so you went from this place of like feeling like all you had was your Hold on a second. I was going to say, well, they gave us two more cards. I was going to say you were feeling like you were in this place of all you had was yourself, but then they were like, no. Hold on a second. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups. See? I told you it came out with the Hierophant, too. All right, so. All right, so I was going to say all you had was yourself, but Spirit was like, that's not what it is. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles, it's you put in a lot of hard work into this relationship, and it's definitely paying off, okay? So you went into this energy of you guys feel very connected and almost like no matter what you guys are going through, as long as you have each other, no matter what you're going through, you're you're gonna get through it that's what this five of pentacles energy is okay i was gonna say it was something else the spirit was like nope that's not what it is so this is what it is you got okay so nine of pentacles came out and then we got the hierophant which everyone knows is one of the best cards to get besides the two of cups in a love reading because it means taking your relationship to the next level which is a, a really strong commitment marriage okay <laughs> So it came out nine of pentacles, putting in the work. You got the hierophant, which is marriage. Feeling like no matter what you go through, you can get through it together, right? Okay, so that's the energy I'm picking up on. And then you got ace of swords. So it's, it's 
where once you were thinking logically about this, either you or your partner, you surrendered, you gave in, and then we got the Two of Cups. So this is definitely a strong, twin flamey, twin soul, soulmate, very deep soul connection, okay? Um, once you got out of your head about it, see, Ace of Swords is like using a lot of logic. It's a major breakthrough in communication. It's a major breakthrough, period. Like, I, felt, I feel like what happened was you saw through the veil. You realized that the connection was there, okay? And you gave into it and you surrendered. And once you did, this energy is coming in. This energy of engagement, marriage, woes. Good reading, Aries. Good reading, Aries. All right. So we're going to do, let's see, what deck should we do next? Let's do the Romance Angels deck. All right. So what do we got for our beautiful Aries? Fire signs for the month of July. Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Higher Self. What does our beautiful Aries need to know about their love life right now for their highest good? Should, I don't even know if we need, need to go forward because this is beautiful energy. You guys already got some really great things coming in, Aries. Really great things. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like my glasses are like falling off my face and you guys can't even see my eyes? There's such a glare from the, from the lights. Hold on one second. Okay. What's that noise? All right. Sorry, Aries. I just realized I had my air conditioner on. The turtle tank was still on. You probably couldn't even hear half of what I was saying, but I fixed it. I also turned off the light over there because I know there's a little bit of glare on my glasses. It's hard for you guys to see my eyes. So let's continue. The cats are being crazy. Apologize for any background noise. All right. So on to the um, romance angels. What do our beautiful Aries, our beautiful fire signs, need to know right now about their love life for their highest good? That was an epic fail shuffle. Okay. That's better. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do we got for Aries, please? I'm trying to make sure I don't get my boobies in the shot. Because <sighs> like I said, it's so not wearing a bra. Maybe if I move a little bit closer. There. What do we have for our Aries right now? What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? They're like, not a damn thing. Oh, this necklace is itching me. Okay. Distractions. We're already at eight minutes. I'm going to pull a, card, a couple cards from Celebration of Love and a couple cards from the, what deck is this? The love oracle and then we'll be done I'm trying to keep all these videos under 20 minutes but they're not giving me anything from your romance angels deck so the energy is not strong enough what do we got for aries please can we get something for aries shuffling shuffling nothing's coming out there we go can we get one more card heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so remember you did you got the breakthrough and communication card they gave you three which was um the ace of swords so yes you guys are going to be discussing your feelings with each other there's going to be a lot of deep heartfelt conversations for you aries for you and your love love lo lover love interest there's two um cherubs on here they look like little cupids so it looks like cupid's arrow has definitely struck um the next card you have is finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now um you did have a lot of pentacles but it was all good there was nine of pentacles five of pentacles can sometimes mean a financial loss so be careful of that energy aries try to watch where you're spending 
extra money that you don't need to be spending because you don't want that to interfere somehow in your love life. You want your love life to go to keep continue to go smooth. You don't want any snafus or anything like that. And it's no fun when you feel like you're in lack and you're in love, right? All right, so, and I just spit. Sorry, it's disgusting. You got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. See, this is the finance and career card. And then you got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I told you, you guys definitely have a strong magnetic pull towards each other. This is a very strong soul connection. You guys got it going on. All right, let's do the love oracle and then we'll finish off with the celebration of love deck. What do our beautiful Aries need to know right now about their love life for their highest good spirit? What do our Aries need to know about their love life for their highest good right now? So far, it's been a beautiful reading. Great job, Aries. You guys got some wonderful, fiery love energy coming in. I think the, ooh, that card flew. Hold on. All right. Let's get some more cards for Aries, please. We got two. Let's get one more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this doesn't feel like the same um, storyline that I was reading for. There was a few Aries that had... Um, that had, you know, the engagement and all that stuff. So I feel like this is a different set of um, timeline energy that I'm reading for. Different set of Aries um, love interests, okay? Total different storyline. So you have mask. So someone is not being completely in 110% honest about how they feel. But... It's about to change because they cannot hold it in any longer. Look at the next card that came out, a storm warning. All of those emotions that they have for you, Aries, is all bottled up and it's about to come flying out. They can't hold it in anymore, okay? Um, for some of you, faded meeting. So if you, I feel like for this, this group of people that I'm reading for right now, some of you... The reason that you haven't met your person is because they're pretending they don't have feelings for you. They're wearing a mask. They're, they might have friends owned you. Um, you might not know them very well and they've harbored all these feelings for you and they haven't told you, right? Um, the next card that came out is player. So they could have a reputation as a playboy or a playgirl. And yet, when they met you, you, th you derailed them. You threw them for a loop. They developed really strong feelings for you, but you have no idea because they've been hiding behind this mask. But those feelings are brewing up. They can't hide them any longer. Look, they got you got storm warning, faded meeting. So you guys were meant to meet. And when you did meet, it completely just derailed all of their plans. They might have met you and thought, oh my gosh. Like, uh, I wasn't expecting that and it just completely changed their whole entire life overnight. They no longer in this energy of, you know, a player or whatever. It's like you completely changed who they are. And look, you are pretty much caught, you caught on. You've been using your intuition. See, we got intuition. You know how they feel. You probably know or have an inkling of how they feel and they just haven't came forward yet. Okay. So we got two different storylines for this. So that's pretty cool. Two storylines. Two different timelines. You know what that happens often? It doesn't happen very often, but, you know, it's pretty cool when it does. All right. It happens often for my Libras. I noticed that. Okay. So now we're going to finish off with Celebration of Love card for our beautiful Aries. And we are almost done. I hope all of you are doing okay with these solar energy flares, these solar storms. They are definitely rough for the first 
few days of the storm, I felt very tired. And now I finally got my energy back and my creative streak back. So I know I said I wasn't going to do the individual signs anymore. But you know what? I really miss doing them. So I'm back doing them. And let's keep on going. All right. So what does our Aries need to know right now for the month of July for their love life? Let's get two of these cards. We're going to do this one. And we're going to do this one. All right. We have optimism and humility. All right. So I already know optimism. Try to stay optimistic. Don't forget you are a magical unicorn. That is one of my favorite things to say. I always say finding love or someone that you love is like finding a unicorn. It's magical. It's special. You know when you find like someone that you really love and they're really special and unique and to you it's like oh my gosh i didn't know that this type of person exists they're like a unicorn i like to say that's one of my favorite sayings and it's true when you find someone that meets all of your expectations as far as the love department goes it's like oh my gosh i've stumbled on a unicorn i didn't think that these existed anymore but they're real <laughs> they're a unicorn right you also got humility, the great counsel. So be careful. I know that sometimes certain types of Aries, you guys, can get very um, proud. You tend to, well, you know, all fire signs do. It can be a shadow. So be just try to remember to stay humble. We're going to read from the book. Let's see. Optimism. This image celebrates our ability to find magic and wonder in our everyday life. It calls us to appreciate all that our body and mind can do so that we can never take any of this for granted. Find the sacred in the mundane today. No matter how boring or drudgery filled a task is, delight in how your hands and fingers do the action. Have gratitude for your brain as it calls out the order of action. Observe how you accomplish these little tasks and be in total gratitude for the ability to do them all. So it's about being grateful. Um, you are overlooking an area or organ of your body that is in need of your attention. You are being inspired to find this area and address its needs. So again, something with the physical. Feed it, cleanse it, give it what it needs to be balanced and whole again. The whole of you will rejoice and feel great. So... They're saying make sure to do everything and every task in your life with optimism and happiness. This is going to help you great, get the greatest um, achievements out of your love life right now, Aries. Also pay attention to your body because there might be something that your body's telling you that you're not listening to. Okay, and the last card we got for you, beautiful Aries, is humility. This image celebrates our galactic citizenship and our honored place in the universe. It causes us to recognize that we are full-fledged citizens of this magnificent cosmos. Be silent. Go within and hold yourself in total gratitude for everything that you are. You were brought into being by the divine creator and were given a part in this grand unfolding universe. You are very special. Be appreciation, gratitude, and joy. This is very true. You are being honored. You are being inspired to honor yourself. Sometimes the high demands and expectations we have of ourselves leave us feeling less than. Give yourself a little hug first thing in the morning and the last thing at night and give yourself a little gratitude. So to now, now is the time, Aries, to give yourself a little extra love. You're going to need it once all of this wonderful stuff that I'm seeing in your love life comes shooting in. Don't forget about yourself while you're loving on your partner. All right, Aries, that's all we got for today. I love you.